Is Sora okay? We don't know. We keep calling his name and shaking him, but he won't open his eyes. Sora? Wake up! Hmm. Unresponsive sidekick. Wait a minute. I know how to fix this. Max, give him a wash. Did the trick? Nice work, Max. Huh? How did I end up? Oh no! Flynn! Rapunzel's being held prisoner! That's right. In her mother's tower. This calls for a rescue. Are you with me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Max. Rapunzel. Thanks. It's over. Enough already. Get out of our way.
See you again. Rapunzel, 
Really? Enough already! Stop fighting me! No! I won't stop! For every minute of the rest of my life, I will fight! I will never stop trying to get away from you! But if you let me save him, I will go with you. Uh, no! No, Rapunzel! Uh, uh, I'll never run. I'll never try to escape. Just let me heal him, and you and I will be together. Forever! Just like you want. Everything will be the way it was. I promise. Just like you want. Just let me heal him. In case you get any ideas about following us. You... Eugene! Oh, I'm so sorry. Everything is gonna be okay, though. No, Rapunzel. I promise. You have to trust me. No. I can't let you do this. And I can't let you die. But if you do this... But if you do this, then you will die. Hey, it's gonna be alright. Rapunzel. Wait. Fallen to darkness. We can't allow her near our pure light now. Her presence would only cast a pall over it.
Did I ever tell you, I've got a thing for brunettes? Oh. <gasps> Eugene! Rapunzel, you're finally gonna get to see your real home! I know! I mean, I can't believe it! I can finally be with my real family! I couldn't have done it without your help. You're welcome! <laughs> well, from where I'm standing, the kingdom couldn't ask for a better princess. And I couldn't have asked for better sidekicks! Thanks. Yes, thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Now, Flynn, you and Maximus play nice. Huh? Okay. Hmm. You're gonna be great. Huh? huh? We haven't seen the guy controlling the monsters in a while, so that's one less worry. But there's still a chance that he might be around here somewhere. 
Well, if he comes back and tries to bother Rapunzel again, then Flynn will keep her safe. And we three won't be far behind. True. But nevertheless, I won't let her out of my sight. Oh, Eugene. Eugene? Oh, <laughs> that's my real name. Eugene Fitzherbert. That's right. I never told you guys. That's different. Oh, I think it's a great name. Me too. Nice to re-meet you, Eugene. Hey, I thought I was the only one you were going to tell. Don't worry. I've saved plenty of Fitzherberty secrets just for you. Really? Hey, what are you two lovebirds talking about? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, you can tell us. Yeah, it's not nice to keep secrets. This one is none of your business. <laughs> Maximus, get him! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you have got to be kidding me! Another world where we got doodly squat. Hmm. You sure this box think he's even real? Yes. Yeah, and just how do you know that? It is etched. It's what? Come with me. Where to? Those bozos ain't gonna help us. Sora sure not looking for the box. Who said anything about following them? No. What? We're too late? Yes. Evan would know all about the replicas from his time as Vexen in the organization. He was re-completed like the rest of us, but he didn't regain consciousness. After Lee left, he must have woken and taken his leave. Alias here and Dylan went out and turned the whole town upside down to try and find him. But no Evan. That's not good. What about his research? Unfortunately, his work on the replicas was incomplete. There may still be documents around, but all of them from well before he made any significant progress. Do you have any idea where he might go? There's no place that he could go now that he's human. He has no means of leaving this world. The Dark Corridors! are beyond his faculties and mine now. Oh, but not everyone's. What if Evan was taken? Of course! The organization could also use the replicas. To fill out their ranks. We'd better go tell Master Yen Sid, and Sora, and the others too.
Humanity is a precious gift, and yet you desire to return to the organization? Oh yes, of course. One eradication at Axel's hands was enough to learn where not to place my trust. He gave you a second lease on life. He ripped me away from the one thing I care about. I don't require humanity. Give me my research. I must see it to fruition, no matter the cost. The replicas. Yes. <laughs> Soon they will replace, not just replicate. Given a heart, they can become just as real as any human. What excellent tidings. I would hate to think we invited you back into our ranks, only for you to fail to deliver our final vessel, Vexen. <laughs> You guys should check it out!